You're now tuned in to Bestseller University, giving you content and sharing information to help you as a new or experienced author go to the next level in your career, creating more opportunities for your book. Let's take it to the next level. Get ready for the ride, y'all. Hey, 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 what's going on, everybody? What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Bestseller University Podcast. My name is Sugar Ray Destin Jr. I'll be your host. I'm also the founder and CEO of BOBM Publishing, full service publishing house that helps artists with everything from the creation of the idea, the coaching through it, the marketing, the branding, um, building your platform, as well as launching each author to bestseller. Um, been so successful that the last over 400 authors that we've worked with have all went number one on Amazon, and you should be next. Now, before we get into today's topic, I want to give a huge shout out to our sponsor over at Bestseller University online coaching platform. Hey, everybody. Uh, my name is Sugar Ray Destin Jr. I'm the founder and CEO of BOBM Publishing. We've helped over 400 new beginners become best selling authors, not just best selling authors, number one best selling authors. And so, a lot of times we hear from people that haven't written their book or people that have already written their book and the buzz is gone. How do I keep this buzz going or how do I write my first book? Well, we've listened. We've heard you. We've heard you. We've heard you. And we've taken, taken the time to go back and create a university specifically for authors. It's called Best Selling University. The enrollment is opening up on March 1st. So less than two, less than two weeks from now, you'll be able to enroll in bestseller university. Now, is this is this uh, done for you publishing? No, this is all information that you can do at your own pace, self-paced courses that teach you how to write a book, how to market the book. And if you want that group or one on one feel, we have some additional courses that are coming. We're bringing back our flagship course. The Business of Books Mastermind, which helps so many people to understand how to brand, how to market, how to build an audience and the opportunities that come from your book. So this is exclusively for you. If you've been sitting on the couch and you've been waiting on that opportunity to get your book out there, get in front of the right people and maximize those opportunities, Best Selling University is for you. There will be a, an investment for it. But once again, most of the courses in Best Southern University are self-paced. We want you to succeed as new authors because, believe it or not, we didn't start with 400 number one Best Southern authors. We started with a dream. We started with a plan. We started with a. We started with fear in our hearts, just like you started. Um, and from authors who've been there and done it to now teaching you the strings and the ropes so that you don't have to go through the you don't have to go through the years and the months and the days and the weeks of trying to figure it out for yourself we put it all together for you in one platform so that you can go in for yourself and a self-paced self-paced time and if you decide that you want to publish on your own by all means the guides will be there if you decide that you want to work with bob on publishing by all means We'll have access. You'll have access to our exclusive Facebook group, Bestseller University. But all we ask is that you take a look and take it serious. This is your opportunity to take it to the next level. Don't sleep on yourself. And remember, everybody has a story. It's time to write yours. We love you guys and look forward to seeing you inside of Bestseller University. All right. Well, listen, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and jump right into today's topic. This one, this topic right here is the game changer for so many of you out there that have been thinking and, and trying and, and been sending your book on the on the shelf for so long. Right. And it's just outlining your book. It is really outlining your book. Um, I won't take too much time on this topic because it's so simple, but it's also the key to getting your book done. Now, before we before we jump into it, I want you to think about your book like a term paper. I want you to think about your book like that paper you had to write in high school. I want you to think about your book just like any other paper or project that you've ever written before. And one of the things I had some great teachers, some great English teachers 
Um, so one of the things that they always told me was writing outline. So guess what? Um, 13 years ago, when I started on my first first project, um, Claim Your Destiny, I didn't know anything about writing books, but I knew about writing papers. And since I knew about writing papers, what did I do? I did the exact thing that they told me to do when it came down to writing a paper. Create an outline. You need an you need to have your key points. You need to have your subtopics. You need to have those things that are in place. You need to know what you're going to talk about and then just talk about it. Right. That's the key to writing a book. But we're going to break it down for you in the same terms, but for a book specifically. And this is the same method that I've used and I've helped over 400 authors with their projects to become to go from brainchild or brain children to books that have changed their lives and changed the lives of many others. So one of the first things that we are, as you know, I go high level and then I come back and break everything down. First thing you need to do is decide on your topic. That should be straightforward, but it's something that so many people miss. Decide on your topic. Second thing is decide on the chapters. Decide on the chapters that you're going to write. We'll, we'll get into that in a second. Next, decide on the key points for each chapter. That should be so straightforward. But again, it's something that we'll come back and break down. And the last thing is the summaries. Now, each one of these has their own place. Like I said, it's only four things that we're going to talk about on here. But those four things will change the course of your writing forever. So the first thing, when we talk about your book, most people say, I want to write a book. I want to write a book. OK, what's your book about? If you haven't decided what your book is about, what are you going to write about? You're kind of throwing darts into a, into this black hole where there's there is no there is no target. There is no no answer. There is no win or lose. Um, you have to have a specific topic that you're talking about. And one of the things that people get get caught up in is, well, I haven't done anything in life, so nobody wants to hear from me. That's not true. You have a phenomenal story of your own personal life. Or you've been in a career field more than five years. The reason I say five years, if we think about if we one of my favorite books is called The Outliers by Malcolm Gladwell. Now, Malcolm Gladwell wrote this amazing book and he he talks about all these high level achievers. He goes from Michael Jordan to Wayne Gretzky to Brett Favre to Tom Brady, different people that are that are high level achievers. And he says the reason that they were geniuses in their fields is because they put in their 10,000 hours. 10,000 hours is the equivalent of working at any specific job full time for five years. Let me do the math for you. So each year you work 52 weeks in a year, you work 40 hours per week. Take away, now if you do the, do the math, that's 2,080 hours. Take off two weeks for 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 vacation, family time, whatever you want to call it. Now you're down to 2,000 hours. 2,000 hours times five, five years, 2,000 hours, that comes up to a total of 10,000 hours. Anything that you've put your 10,000 hours into, you have become an expert in. You've learned so many things. You're not the, you may not be the complete expert, but you're a lot better than somebody who's at square one, somebody who's just starting out. So think of that as a potential topic. You can think about something that you're extremely passionate about, something that you spend all your time, something that you have a hobby for, because in in those hobbies, there are other people who are interested in the same thing. You may think about relationships. You want to talk about relationships. You may want to talk about your love for God. You may want to talk about overcoming a situation. You may want to discuss um. There's, there's so many things, but you have to choose one. Once you choose your one topic, what you're going to talk about, that is a huge victory for you. And the reason that it's a huge victory is because now you have a, you have something that you can dig into. And what do I mean by dig into? It's the next part, choosing your chapters. Chapters may sound may sound overwhelming. Okay, I don't know what a, what a chapter is. All a chapter is is a subtopic. What is the subtopic? topic within this specific field 
that you want to talk about. The reason that you're pulling these subtopics is because now you can go deeper into into this level. You can so if your book is about if your book is about let's say your book is about overcoming something in life or becoming the best athlete in the world, right? Well, first thing that you would probably talk about is your childhood. What did your childhood look like? That's a that's a very easy easy topic. But you also want to know what is the next thing. Maybe you start talking about your training. Maybe you start talking about the difference in coaches. Maybe you start talking about you start talking about the obstacles that you had to overcome. Maybe you start talking about your competition. Each one of these can become chapters or subtopics in your book. If you don't want to name your titles initially, at least choose the topic of each subchapter or each each chapter. Choose the topic of each chapter. But when it comes down to your to your chapters, I always say give it something catchy, something that speaks to the people in your field. You give it something that they can relate to. For example, I'm I'm hip hop and motivation. So one of my chapters, and I, I love the title, where I got it from is surprising, is called It's In You, Not On You. Another one is called The, the Game Changer. Um, each one of these has something specific. My favorite chapter of all that I've ever written is called Deja Vu. It's in my first book, Claim Your Destiny. As you think about what each chapter means to you, you think about those titles and give them a specific meaning. If you want to, if you just want to break it down in terms of, okay, this person meant something to me. So my title is going to be named after this person. You decide on what that chapter title is going to be based on the content within it. Next thing is the key points. Each chapter should have key points that you are you are looking to achieve. Something specific that you're trying to get across in each one of those chapters. Those key points, um, I always say look at between three to five key points per chapter. The reason that you're looking at those three to five key points, if you've listened to me before, those key points that you're touching on can become learning points that you later share as a as a topic for discussion, as a topic that you speak on, as a topic that you coach on. But in the meantime, I just want you to think of those. I just want you to think of those those key points in terms of what are the what are the topics that you're going to hit within each chapter. The last thing that you are going to do with your book is to summarize each chapter. While you're outlining your book, summarize each chapter. This, All these things that I'm talking about are before you even begin to write. The reason that you're doing a quick summary for each chapter, and it should be no more than two sentences to a paragraph each, is because as you're writing it gives you something to go back to, something to reflect on. What was I trying to talk about during this chapter? Because over the course of writing, you're going to grow as a person. You're going to grow as a writer. You're going to learn new things. There's going to be new experiences that you that you have, have dealt with. That's great. But when you first start, you want to have a clear, concise plan that you are going to that you are going to execute on. And that is why you have those, those, those summaries. They're for you and for no one else. Those summaries are what you are going to go back and reflect on long after you start so that you can make sure that you are on track. So remember, as you are outlining your book, first thing is choose your topic. Choose a topic that is, is key to you, something that you know about, something that you love, something that you can expand upon with, with correct, passionate knowledge. Correct, passionate knowledge. Correct knowledge, meaning it can be fact checks, passionate, because if you're not passionate about a subject, it's going to show in your writing. At some point, it's just going to fizzle out and you won't even love what you wrote. Next is decide on those chapters. Those chapters are just subtopics of your overall topic. 
then you define your key points within each chapter. Those key points are going to be points that you touch on within each and then summarize each chapter. Now, if you've done this for your outline of your book, guess what? Each one of those chapters become individual papers that you have to write. And when you when you think of it as an individual paper, you can go back and write each one individually. Just make sure that they connect in the end. OK, so listen, this is all I got for you today. Like I said, I just wanted to give you something quick, something, something fast, but something that helps you to outline your book and get that brainchild out of here and onto that paper so that you can help somebody else. If this was helpful to you, do me a favor. Go ahead and like, comment, and share. Share with somebody that, that has been working on their project. You've heard those people. I'm going to write a book. I'm going to write a book. Well, they just don't know how. Go ahead and share it with them so that they can get that information out of their head, out of their hearts, onto the paper so that they can help more people like you and me. Listen, my name is Sugar Ray Destin Jr. Thank you all for tuning in to Best Selling University Podcast. I love you all to life.